Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shendro Briscoe, as always, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Today is Thursday, July the 22nd, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Gary Reagan. And without further ado, here's a birthday song for you. I said, hey Gary, hey yard, it's your birthday today. Why, that's another year passed away. So, well, we're hoping that you're enjoying your birthday day because, well, it's your own happy birthday day. I said, hey, Gary, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your special day because, no, it's your very own happy birthday day. Happy birthday to you, Gary. Hey, and many, many more. All right, well, all righty then. Got how, how about the Shin Show shout outs? Well, that's right, folks that love, like, or just care about the Shin Show. We like our fans. They are the Shin Show fans. We've got Martin Kelly, aka Smiley, Mike Shane, Lori Moore, Cindy Brown, and Leone Pereza Fernandez. And then, of course, my pokey pal, Amanda Sue Little. And then there's the old faithful, ever faithful, Shen Show Sharer. That'd be Doug Bell Bell, aka Steve Clary. Alrighty, alrighty then. Uh, let's see, what have we got going on? How about the weather forecast? Weather forecast for today will be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2052 and 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. Uh, it's pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer. Uh, we've got the uh, services begin at 11 a.m. sharp on Sundays and then uh, for an hour of power prayer on Wednesdays at 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Then we've got a super special event coming up this Friday at 6.30 p.m. Popcorn and soda pop. So come on, invite the kids, which uh, bring all the kids. Why not bring the neighborhood kids, too? Big things, big shows, big things going on. So come on out to the Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. That's right across from the uh, St. Andrews Annex, right behind St. Andrews Plaza. Alrighty. Alrighty then, here we go. Weather forecast for the St. Charles Viewing Area. It's good, uh, 91 degrees out there right now, but uh, that's not going to stay that way for the rest of the day. No siree, Bob. We've got a few passing clouds with low temperatures around 74 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Winds are going to be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Friday, July the 23rd, mostly sunny skies, highs around 91 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies with low temperatures of 75 degrees overnight. Winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Saturday, July the 24th, a few uh, passing clouds from time to time. High temperatures of 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then mostly clear overnight with low temperatures of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Sunday, July the 25th, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower here and there and or thunderstorm is quite possible. High temperatures of 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies with low temperatures of 73 degrees Fahrenheit and winds uh, north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Monday, our final day of our five-day forecast, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible with high temperatures of 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 
And then uh, some clouds early will give way to generally clear conditions overnight. Low temperatures are going to be around 72 degrees Fahrenheit and winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your five-day forecast for the St. Charles Viewing Area. Hey, we got something else going on, too. Uh, let's see, what could it be? It's a event for a Love Serving God Ministries. That's right, congratulations for 20 years uh, to, in service of Love Serving God Ministries. You are invited to the first annual testimony with proof that when God brings you through it, or to it, he will bring you through it. That's right. Uh, there's going to be a whole slew of folks that are giving their testimonies. That's right. Testimony of God's love and God's work to be provided. So come on out there. It's a day that you'll never forget. As we work together to eliminate homelessness in the community. Christian Community Center will, is located at 510 South Lincoln Drive, Troy, Missouri, 63379. Doors will open at 3 p.m. Program starts at 5 p.m. And dinner will be served at 6.30 p.m. Chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and corn on the cob, or corn, and not necessarily corn on the cob, but corn, carrots, beans, hot rolls, and dessert with tea and juice and coffee. RSVP by LSG Ministries. SINOutlook.com Donations will be accepted and appreciated. So, love, caring, and sharing. Contact for more information. Darlene Morgan at 636-358-4226 or 314-766- 2199. Alrighty then, let's see what else we got on the agenda. How about a song? Uh, uh, how about a song? That song would be oh, uh, Johnny Cash. Now, about a little Johnny Cash. Let's do Johnny Cash. We're going to bring Johnny Cash to you by Seasonal Reese by Jamie. That's right, Seasonal Reese by Jamie. She is quite the crafty gal. If you have uh, holiday seasons coming up, she can make you table settings and or wreaths for that season. She can also do special occasions. You just get over to her website, Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. Actually, that's a Facebook page, Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. And she can hook you up with uh, your, all your special needs. That's right. You just tell her what you need and she can come up with something, I'm sure. Seasonal Reese by Jamie. On Facebook. I was standing by the window one cold and cloudy day when I saw a horse coming rolling for the me way. Will that circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I said to the undertaker, undertaker, be please try slow. For this lady you are carrying, Lord, I hate to see her go. Well, that circle be unbroken, oh, by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in that sky, Lord, in the sky. Oh, I followed close behind her, tried to hold up and be brave, but I could not hide my sorrow when they lay. Her in her grave, I will that circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I went back home, the home was lonesome since my mother, she was gone. 
and my brothers and my sisters crying. What a home so sad and lone. Will that circle be unbroken? Abound by load by and by. There's a better a home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. We sing songs of childhood, hymns of faith that made us strong. Oh, once that mother, Mabel, taught us, here's the angel sing along. Oh, we that circle, a real broken, a bang by Lord, bang by. There's a better home awaiting. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. All right, hey, it's time to gather the kids around because, well, it's story time with TV Grandpa. That's right, we bring it to you each and every day because, well, the kids need to go to bed sooner or later, don't you know? And, well, hey, if they just want to lay down, take a nap or whatever, with Grandpa's voice, it just might help them relax. Load them to sleep. And so, today's Bible story is going to have to do with relying on God. That's right. You see, God and all things are possible. And this one's going to be Noah, uh, the Bible story. A long time had passed since Adam and Eve were created, and the land was now full of wicked people. Well, this made God very unhappy, and there was only one good man named Noah that he blessed Noah for being the good person and said, I would destroy all the bad and wicked people. Only you and your family will be saved. So he asked Noah to build a huge boat called an ark. Well, God then said, Bring your family and two of every kind of animal family to the ark. He also asked him to gather enough food to last for several long months. He then told him that in seven days he would send rain, which would go on for forty days and forty nights, and therefore the rain would bring a huge flood and only Noah and his family and the animals on the boat would survive. Well, Noah did everything that good that God had asked him to do, and he spent many a days building the ark. He gathered two animals of every kind, gathered food, and got inside the ark with his family. Furthermore, the, God sent the rains for forty days and forty nights. Noah and his family were safe inside the ark. After the rain had stopped to know what was going on outside, Noah would send out a dove every day. But the dove would come back with nothing. Well, one day the dove came back to him with an olive leaf. Now Noah knew that the earth was finally drying out. They stepped out of the boat after a year. Very happy to have survived the flood, and most of all, the animals and Noah's family were saved and very happy to be back at their place. As a result, all the bad and wicked people had vanished from the earth. And there you have it. If not the reliance of what God said when he said it, Noah and his family would have perished with all the rest of the wicked people. Okay, let's see, it's time for our daily bread portion of the program. And today's daily bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 31 through 32 and Acts 23 16 through 40, uh, 35. So, don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Today's uh, 
devotion in the Daily Bread portion of the program is called Seeking God's Help. And uh, the uh, daily scripture and insight for Seeking God's Help will be Second Chronicles 20, 15 through 12, and 15. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judea and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in the front of the new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nation. Power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you. Our God, did not, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or a plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before the temp this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and save us. But now here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession that you gave us as an inheritance? Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. He said, Listen, King Joseph, and all who live in Judea and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of your vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. So there you have it. They cried out to God, and God said that they should not worry about that vast army that was approaching them. He would take care of that for them. And so, he did so for their lives and for their cry out to him. Seeking God's help is always the best thing to do, usually sooner than later. All right, hey, that's the Daily Bread portion of the program, which was brought to you today by... The Bible with Briscoe 2021, a daily reading of the Bible to complete it within to be completed within one year. Hey folks, hey, that's it for the Shin Show. I have enjoyed being your host, Shenandoah Briscoe. And I've got one more song for you, and that would be Hello, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I say goodbye, my friends, it's a Time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.